hi guys welcome back to my channel now today i'm gonna be talking about the breathless hotel as well as secret resort which is right here in montego bay st james if you're new to my channel remember to hit the subscription button and subscribe if you've been here from the beginning i thank you so much for your support as always remember to turn on post notification watch the video videos in full like share comment and again subscribe because there are plenty more videos coming all right so this is us pulling up to the hotel what i really liked was that they had the palm trees along the entire road so you know it gave you that nice tropical feel as you can see in the corner it says secrets wild orchid as well as secret st james i'm gonna get more into that as we go along in the video now when we arrived one of the first thing they did was sanitize our luggages which i really appreciated they had a gun and they sanitized the entire thing and when you were sanitized they had a sticker that said these luggages were sanitized and actually checked for that so after sanitizing our luggage and we sanitized our hands as well we had checked in check-in time was 3 p.m we actually arrived early and we're around the property walking around and everything but we checked in the process was pretty smooth for us and then this is our bellboy bringing us up now the rooms the the way it's arranged i think it's like an octagon so it's a bit confusing just to reach from your room to the elevator so that was quite confusing but this is our room a standard room you know you got a king size bed and we got robes as well which i really appreciated you know table where you can put on a laptop for editing and this is our view a mixture between ocean view and a garden view here's an up close look you know it was a i really appreciated this view like i couldn't complain like yeah and we were on the fourth floor which was pretty high up now to get back to the bathroom the bathrooms were pretty decent you know it was a shower and this is it you know the rainfall scene in shower you have the handheld shower and here's a video of how it actually looks you know standard hotel type shower in my opinion at least and this is the tub and they also gave us these nice little you know, that's a shower cap they had the lotion as well as the soap yeah i really appreciated that because most of the times you go to these hotels they have shower gel and i'm a bar soap type of person this is the closet right here you know adequate space the closet it came with a steamer a little mini safety box i guess to put any jewelry or anything like that you know plenty of space to hang your clothes and one last look at the room you know one last look now what i forgot to show you which is why i did this video was the mini fridge now our mini fridge wasn't stocked with anything but that's fine i've never been to a hotel and actually got any water or anything like that from the mini fridge right and then if you come with me down the other side well that's a kettle and the coffee maker they have this secret door i don't even know the correct term so it's like they'll put the drinks from the other side and then you collect it from that side so it's like a no touch system you know you call them downstairs they come they put the, f the drinks or whatever food service you might order and they leave it there and you collect it on the other side and same if you have any dirty dishes which i thought was quite creative this is my friend and her sister room as you can see the placement of the tub is different but the bathroom is pretty much the same same style shower exact same toilet but again the position is different you have the beauty mirror right and their secret box is what i'm calling it was quite stocked as you can see unlike mine mine didn't have any of that in it but this is what the double room looked like two double beds and the beds were full that is in the size of the bed was full and this is the up close look of the ice as well as the ice container sorry and the coffee maker all right so one last look at their room and this was their view now they were on the second floor but this view was obviously ocean view and it was very very nice now moving along i'm going to be talking about the different areas so like i said there is 
secret St. James, there is secret Wild Orchid, and we actually had access to Brettless as well, even though we're staying at secret. So we kind of walked all around, and I'm gonna show you guys each. So we're place. at secret, we're staying at Wild Orchid. Now they have like three or four different properties here. Um, so this is Preferred Club, and this is Preferred Club Wild Orchid, where you have access to absolutely everything. Um, this is our building. This is Wild Arcade right here. And then over on the other end is St. James. Uh, the cafes are pretty much right here. The World, World Cafe. And then there's Blue Mountain. Come on. All right, so this is Wild Orchid Preferred Club. They have their own private pool. And these rooms have the swim out pools down the bottom. Also, they have the little areas that separate each room, which is what I like with this preferred club, right? I want you guys to pay attention to that, right? Moving along, they also have the sun loungers, which are these nice, big, comfortable chairs right here. As I said, I am not a preferred member, but we had access to everywhere, you know, COVID, so I guess, you know, kind of free for all. Secret Wild Orchid. Now, this is where we stayed, right? Just showing you guys, you know, how it looks, how they set it up. And each one of the buildings encloses a pool, right? And each area has a swim up bar. So here's a up close look of the pool area, you know, they have the lounge chairs, umbrellas and so forth. Those two people right there, you know, they probably look like they're floating. Yeah. But this is what they're on. They're on, they're on the ellipticals. I've never seen ellipticals in water. So I guess if you want to come on vacation, you want to get that workout in you know you can consider here for that i guess now what i loved about this property is that everywhere there was food they had a mobile jelly man and i thought that was very creative the line was super long if i'm gonna if i say so and they also had a mobile jerk guy which of course i had jerk had the jerk chicken and it was quite good it was better than if you watch my previous hotel videos, you know where I'm talking about. But yeah, they had the jerk chicken and this mobile jerk guy was actually here up even late hours in the night. And like I said, they had multiple places for food and I really like that. Now, this is Secret St. James. This is one of the other buildings. And what I like about Secrets was that their swim up bar was you know a, a bit more vibesy than the one for wild orchid so we actually spent more of our time on this side than we did over by wild orchid and this is the bar area right here everybody was just lounging around you know everybody got their drinks it's right off the deck of one of the restaurants which is called oceana restaurants we actually had lunch there as well but i'm gonna talk about the food separately so when i get there i'll, start, I'll speak about that restaurant and it was just nice now the property is super big they have this direction thing right here as well as you know you could go and sign up for the different excursions and get different water activities if you want oh i forgot to mention this is the barefoot grill which serves a amazing burger and nachos but this is where you can go and meet the trucker person if you want to get all of those little activities those water activities done or if you just want to come over here and speak to one of the guys, you can. They had like canoes and, you know, the paddleboard and all of that nice stuff for those who want to do the different activities. And this thing right here is actually quite fun as well. I know it might sound a bit confusing, guys, but no need to worry. They have these maps all around the property to let you know exactly where you are. So, like I said, there's Secret St. James and there's Secret Wild Orchid. And each one of those places have a preferred club. Now, to continue with the rest of the tour. They have numerous bars and different restaurants all around. I like this one particular bar right here, which was the Marlin. Marlin Bar, which was very nice. Had a nice, unique setup for the chairs that had these little swings. Which I thought was very cute. And the bartender there was very mannerable as well. Alright, so this is Preferred Club St. James. As you can see, these swimmer rooms, they don't have the partition like Wild Orchid does. And they actually weren't as private as Wild Orchid. As I mentioned before, guys, we're staying at Secrets on Wild Orchid. But we do have access to everywhere. So this is us heading over to Breathless. And the connection was like a runway. And my sis 
was working it. Look at her. She was working it. And I was boosting her all the way up, of course. Anyway, so we enter over breathless. We went upstairs to the rooftop bar that they have. Went up there first. Now, listen, sometimes I'm just like, wow, am I really in Jamaica? Because coming up here, it really gave you the Miami vibe, you know? Like the entire view of the hotel from up there was just really 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 nice now we came on saturday then usually have a phone party but you know again with corona i guess i'm not doing those stuff so we actually never got to do the phone party unfortunately which is what breathless is notorious for but we never had the experience but it was still quite beautiful like i said and this right here is the connection between secrets and breathless right so now we're going to head downstairs so you guys can have an up-close look of what the property looks like from downstairs. And listen, Breathless is just a whole different vibe. Look at the entrance right here. You know, they have like water in the glass and all of that. See, the lobby area was way bigger, more spacious than Secrets. I didn't even show you guys Secrets lobby area because a lot of people were there. One, and it was so small, right? And I did, it was crowded at the time and in this lab area they have the bar which is right here so like breathless is just a whole another level and i mean it makes sense because it costs way more but again you enter outside and you have this nice centerpiece with water you know it's just it's just nice you know it's just rich you get me <laughs> but guys this is just what the property looks like i did a real all right guys like i said we had access to everywhere now i already show you guys the room that we're staying in and this was pretty much a property so for the rest of the vlog i'm gonna show you the different food right i'm gonna do a little food thing as well as the entertainment that was available for us okay guys we're halfway through the video if you like this video thus far and you're new remember hit the subscription button also like this video share this video and I know we're halfway there just watch the video in full all right guys watch the video till the end because there's still more to come all right guys now it's food time so y'all know that i'm a big foodie so breakfast we had buffet each time we we're there this is the world cafe if you're wondering why young miss here is dressed like a playboy bunny we were here it was easter weekend and they had an event going on that day so that's why these decorations and all of that now they had this right here which i thought was pretty cool you know the automatic temperature check non-touch as well as the sanitizer dispenser and it lights up green when your temperature is good like you know the go ahead so i thought that was pretty cool now go in this is the seating arrangement was adequately spaced um we and you have to wait to be seated you know like i said the staff is well mannerable customer customer service here was a one they'll definitely get 10 out of 10 for that you have to wait to be seated and you know the tables were sanitized before we went and we sat down and their sanitation measures were just really up breakfast there. this is a jamaican station they had akian saltfish fried dumpling so it's the omelet station they had the different vegetables you can put to go in your omelet whatever you please they had bacon sausages hash browns you know all of that good stuff and they had grits egg i don't know the egg was very wet but i never got any egg again this is the omelet station right here um i never got any omelet either um fruit area papayas melons they had salamis cucumbers ham all of that they had a yogurt station as well and this yeah this is yogurt this was where i was the entire weekend the waffles right the waffle station with the different toppings oh amazing and of course they had the juice area they had the orange juice cherry juice june plum juice sorrel pineapple juice all of that good stuff but this is what i got the waffles with the bacons i went very simple but i kind of overdid it with the toppings i had banana i had peanuts i had the chocolate i had the sugar it was sweet and it was everything like and the waffles were so soft and nice 
next i'm gonna talk about the lunch now there are different areas you could go and get lunch but i'm gonna start with the buffet since i already did buffet for breakfast now we went only one time and this was what was there they had chicken roast chicken they had fried rice egg fried rice they had a stir fry they had a pasta station as well they had these little shell things which was like a lobster with shrimp shell thing and it wasn't good though it, it wasn't meatballs they had nuggets white rice spanish rice this was also seafood area they had clams mussels shrimp now one thing i forgot to mention is that at the restaurant they served you so like they did not want you holding any other utensils and put it in the plate they did that for you and it was all a part of their sanitation measures um there was somebody there at each station even though it's not shown in the video but there was somebody there at each station even the dessert area to serve you the food um and i thought that again went well with their sanitation measures that they had and we only ate at the buffet for lunch one time so we had a little of everything it's like uh, last supper last supper last supper chung just trying i to. got i got one of each like you wanted anything for you That's my dear I wanted to taste that one. Oh, so this, is all, this is all you. Huh? This is all you, right? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the Barefoot Grill. You can go there and get a nice nachos, burger, patties. This was one of the other options for lunch that they had available. They also had the Ocean Grill. Well, this was the place that was right beside the swim out bar. This was the restaurant was just there. We, when we came the first day and we check-in time was 3 p.m but we got there at 12 so we went and got lunch and this is what we got i had a wrap they had nuggets and burger as well that was typically what the burger at the barefoot grill kind of stayed as well now for dinner they have different restaurants they had the jamaican restaurant and different nights different restaurants are open so one night it was a mexican restaurant we went to that restaurant and another night it was the French restaurant or the Italian restaurant. But this is our outside look. And it was really beautiful, you know. A nice romantic feel. Because, you know, Secrets is a couple's resort. And trust me when I say it, it definitely shows that it's a couple's resort. Now, this is the Italian restaurant. which is called Portofino. This is the menu right here. You can just pause it and read it through if you're interested in doing that. Like I said, the name of the restaurant is Portofino. Now, we went here the first night. Initially, we thought we were going to go to the French restaurant. But afterwards, we realized that the French restaurant was open. But the Italian one was. They brought out the bread with the cheese in the olive oil. Which, in my opinion, was the best thing that we had all night. Now, this. This was supposed to be a bruschetta. Which is the appetizer that chung ordered and they brought out two slices of tomato with some cheese on it and this was her genuine reaction she was a trooper to be very honest because she ate it just the same what, and so she was very classy as well i think so why it tastes like chicken it tastes like how it looks it's really actually keep being very hysterical <laughs> beside me that is the best part of all this whole experience <laughs> So the appetizers were very much underwhelming. This is the main course. I ordered shrimp with lobster and clam spaghetti. I can't even remember the proper French name. Um, this was some chicken and then there was salmon. It, like I said, the best thing on the menu was the bread with the cheese. The dessert wasn't really all that either, but this is it right here. The ice cream was good. Yeah, the ice cream was good. Now, the next place we went for dinner was the French restaurant the next day. This was the dress I wore. I just want you guys to see that the steamer actually works. Anyways, this is us heading to the restaurant. Now, to be very honest, the day before they told us that the French restaurant was going to be open, but that wasn't the case. It was actually the Italian so yeah, i went there the day before under the impression that the restaurant would have been open and it wasn't but while i was there i did a video of how inside the restaurant was looking. and this is the name right there bordeaux 
Again, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm pretty sure that I am. But this was pretty much Look it. Look at this, guys. It's giving me French vibe. Uh, we came to the French restaurant, but I mean, it had the temperature thing outside. But there's nobody in here. And then the door around there is the... So is it that this one is closed? Yeah, so the next day we went and we ate at the restaurant. I had the escargas appetizer. There was shrimp as well. Can't remember this name, but it was was pretty good. For the main course, we had steak, then lamb chops. I had duck, and there was chicken breast. And it was better than the Italian restaurant. And this was dessert, and the dessert again was better than the Italian restaurant. It was it was pretty good. Good. I I had the the creme brulee. Yeah, that's what I had, which was this right here. It was very, very good. Now, for the entertainment, there was day and night activities. As you can see right here, we have some tourists playing what is called cornhole. You know, they seem to really like it. I never played it, but, you know, I can see why they might like it. They also had a volleyball. Um, and also another couple of people were around the pool, you know, encouraging group activities and stuff like that so you know they have a little day activities here and there so i had a pool table as well as table tennis for anybody who wanted to engage in those activities as well there were multiple screens around the hotel showing the event board so you could have an idea of what was happening and what time it was happening i thought that was very good now for nighttime entertainment they had live music um this guy his voice was very lovely but you know copyright reasons I can't really play the song, but remember to head over to my IG page. I'll post it over there. All right, guys. Also, there was a guy playing the violin, and you had that each night. And I, again, it's a couple's resort, and romance was definitely in the air. Now, the board that I just show you guys showed that there was a all white party and a circus show, which, in my opinion, there wasn't much of a party. I was under the impression. That it would have been like a party party, you know, DJ playing music, everybody dancing, you know, look a bit of dash out, you know, Jamaican type of thing, but that wasn't the case. It was kind of like a circus type thing, you know, a lot of acrobatics, you know, they were on the rope, in the ring, there's a fire flamethrower. And the next couple of clips, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Now, for secrets it is definitely a couple's resort the majority of the people that were there were middle aged they were like newlyweds they were on their honeymoon while over breathless tend to have individuals aging in the 20s age group you know early 20s mid 20s but all in all it was it was a good experience would i go back no <laughs> i wouldn't go back um, the pros for me was definitely the bed. The bed was super, super, super soft and nice. It felt like I was sleeping on a cloud. You know, the environment is very laid back and relaxed. It's kind of, it's a little bit boring if I'm being quite honest. But like I said, this was the, the ending of my two weeks vacation. And I was in Negril. I was in St. Mary. I was all over doing a lot of different activities. So boring at this time i didn't mind you know i just wanted to relax so you know that's that's exactly what i did regards to the entertainment you see this they have this here they also had karaoke i believe there was somebody at a piano bar there they had a glow party yeah i wasn't feeling much of it it wasn't really that entertaining to me and i didn't go to all of them either i i went to bed <laughs> right like i said i was tired but I still wouldn't write off this hotel and you know if you're thinking to go to breathless for the phone party at least when i was there it wasn't there so i'm not sure if they still have it again corona time so you know but if you're looking for a nice hotel that customer service is a1 you know the, the food was the food they, they had a lot of different food options i really appreciated that um are you looking to just relax you know a nice quiet time then i think i think this is i think secrets is for you just go to secrets i mean you have access to breathless anyways i mean breathless rooms are nicer but at the end of the day secrets bed was very soft and nice so six and one half dozen of the other but that was pretty much it guys again if you've made it this far thank you you're a true mvp like this video share this video comment below let me know what you would have wanted me to do differently you know 
if you are new here and you liked what you see just hit that subscription button i'll really appreciate it and again guys next week will be a new vlog so stay tuned turn on post notifications